given out a car before. I've given out a car before. Put your hands together. A Prado. Put clap more, more, more. That car is costly. But for the price I buy it, don't clap. I will tell you this now. If you have a friend and that friend lives in Ikorodu and you live in Lekki, please don't, if they advise you on some things, don't collect it. It's not, it cannot be a good advice because especially when you say which side in Ikorodu are you living in? I say, when you, when you just reach Ikorodu, call me. Please, don't listen. To that advice, when they say, when you reach school, do call me. They don't, they, those people, they don't care about your life. I, me, I'm not living in Ikorodu. I'm living in Bagada. I have a friend. He's living in Ikorodu. He called me. He said, Larry, how far now? I said, I'm fine. He said, ah, ah, you said you want to buy car since. That was like some years, few years back. You said you want to buy car since you have not bought it. I said, ah, I'm still gathering money. He said, how much do you have? I said, I have 400k. He said, what do you want to buy? Is it a house? I said, no, car. He said, ah, you can find cheap cars. I said, yes, now I want to buy Camry, Tokumbo. He said, how much is Tokumbo? I said, uh -uh, you can find 700 or 800. He said, uh -uh, where? He said, in my area, you will find car of 200K, 150. I said, eh? which area? He said, you could do here. Ah. I said, if you find anyone, let me know. He called me early in the morning the next day, around 5 a.m. Hello, Larry, where are you? I said, I'm at home. He said, get up, get up, get up, get up. I said, for what? He said, there's a car here now. I said, how much do they call it? He said, the guy was telling me 150. I said, lie, lie, 100K. Eh? When I heard 100K, you know, something we enter you. I, when I now got there, ladies and gentlemen, as I drop, I said, I'm in Sabo now. He said, come down. Enter Okada. I said, where should I tell the Okada? He said, just tell him to go straight. The Okada was going. We reached one corner. I said, Baba, the Okada man said he cannot go again. Calm down. Enter another one. Ladies and gentlemen, I took three Okada. I got to the place. They were closing this. You know when they cover car? They now opened it. When they opened the car, it was a Prado. Ladies and gentlemen, this Prado was shining. When I saw the Prado, and the price he gave me, I say, how much is it? He said, 100K. I wanted to say, do you have three? You know, I just want to show myself because so it don't look like I'm a small boy like that because 100K and I have 400K. I wanted to buy three, so I'll use the remaining 100K. I know something will be wrong to fix the remaining, the three cars and I will resell. That's what I was thinking. I was being industrious in my thoughts. I didn't know what I was buying. Was not industrious. Ladies and gentlemen, I took the car. I, as I was driving, I noticed that that's the first car we entered that would go from zero to 300. And it did not move from one spot. This thing was just going, oh, and it was eating 300. I said, Baba, this thing is eating 300. He said, Larry, don't worry. It's a minor problem. I on the AC. Doors came out. I said, ah, what happened? Is he... The, he said, is it because, he said, no, they even drove it yesterday. That's how the dust used to come out. He said, don't worry, it's a minor problem. Ladies and gentlemen, this car has like five minor problems. My brother, if you see car, we get minor problem. That's the major problem of the car. As I was driving, and I said, uh -uh, I see I have 300k, let me buy for it. I got to the filling station that I used to carry cake to. They were looking at me, I was looking at them. You know, when pride enters you, you will not smile too much. I look, they look at me. They say, how much? I say, fill up. They say, what? I say, fill up. They say, for what? I say, can't you hear me? Fill up. It is my car. I had to let them know that I'm not the driver. It's my car. I just noticed this guy went around first time. Second time. Third time, he came back. He said, oh God. I said, if you don't know where the fuel tank of the Prado is, you ask the owner. Ask the owner. Ladies and gentlemen, me too, I came down. I went around first time, second time, third time. I called my friend and said, hello, Tunji. He said, what? He said, eh, we have been at the filling station since, so we are looking for the fuel tank. He said, uh, 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 you didn't tell me you were going to petrol station. Open the boot. As he said, open the boot. I said, for what? He said, you will find 150 liter cake there. That's your tank, pour it inside. 
as I poured the fuel inside, he said, eh, then Larry, don't cut off. Do you have palm oil? I said, palm oil for what? He said, you have to just put palm oil just to separate the fuel so it will enter the right places. I said, is this a car or a shrine? He said, Larry, it's just a minor problem. The, I poured palm oil. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to that church I was going there. As we entered, the pastor said, if you are here, you are about to give a provoking offering to the Lord. When I heard provoking, I look at my whole life. There was nothing more provoking than that car. You know, when you car, there's some kind of car key you will hold. The pastor will know that God, that God has blessed you. So I now had my car key. I was coming for my, the pastor said, come, come. Keep, don't look back. Don't listen to the devil. Just come. Because they believe if you turn back, it's the devil that is talking to you. Just come. As I was going, my spirit was saying, Larry, are you sure? I say, me, I am sure. As I was going, my pastor, that pastor, he collected the car key. He said, is this what the Lord said you should drop? I said, the Lord did not say, me. I say to myself that I will drop. He said, no. Need that, let me pray. No, but for this, your car key, I will need that. You will pray for me. I said, no, pastor. You will pray for me. So me and the pastor, we knelt down. He said, Larry, you are going places. I say, amen. You will go from nation to nation. I say, amen. He said, you will go from country to country. I say, amen. He said, you will not be broke. I say, amen. He said, God bless you. Go home. I left. The next morning, around 7 a.m., my pastor called me. He said, hello, Larry, where are you? I said, I'm at home. Did I say you are going places? I said, yes, sir. He said, Larry, it's like you don't want to go anywhere. I said, sir, are you cussing? He said, Larry, me, T. Berry. It's like you don't want. I'm at the filling station for the past two hours. We have been looking for the fuel tank. Where is it? I said, sir, open the boat. He opened the boat. I said, sir, do you have anointing oil? He said, yes. I said, pour small before you pour the fuel. He said, Larry, is this a car or a shrine? I said, sir, it's a spiritual car. Pour the anointing oil. He poured the anointing oil. As he left, around two o'clock, my pastor called me back again. He said, Larry, where are you? I said, sir, I'm on my way to a meeting. He said, are you in the public transport? I said, sir. He said, you will not get there. I, I said, sir, are you causing? He said, did I say you are going from nation to nation? You will go from bus stop to bus stop. I said, sir, are you causing? He said, you will. Ha. I said, sir, are you causing? He said, no. I said, what is the matter? He said, Larry, I am on Todd Milan Bridge. I said, what now happened? The steering is in my hand. I cannot find the car. 